Yes, I think his uh, wife was very lucky to get away with her court verdict in her favour after she, in my opinion, misled uh, the court, had to apologise for uh, saying she hadn't briefed uh, a certain person, etc., etc. But, and, and you make, you're right, you know, if the newspaper has broken the law in order to invade the privacy of people it's reporting on, yes, absolutely. But I have to say, claiming a breach of privacy, making such a big deal of it, when he himself has betrayed the privacy of his father and of his stepmother mm. and of his brother and of his sister-in-law by revealing private conversations in his memoir called Wa or Spare, whatever. <laughs> I thought <laughs> this report today by Sky UK was ridiculous. Have a listen. It's Harry apparently harnessing his star power to draw attention to what happens here. The poster boy, if you will, for privacy. Well, the poster boy for privacy, Tom. I mean, you've got a gag. <laughs> and you don't even really have to add to that, do you? I mean, the idea that Prince Harry is the poster boy for privacy is utterly ridiculous, not least because, as you say, that he's been pretty credibly accused of invading the privacy of his own family in his Netflix documentary and Spare and so on. I think he's been uh, guilty of invading his own privacy as well. I mean, after having poured through his book, I feel I know far too much about this man myself. I feel like I know his anatomy better than I know my own. Um, and yet, again, this is the thing about Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and this issue of privacy. They don't really want privacy. They want to be in the newspapers all the time. They just want to be in control of what is said about them. And that's been a thread throughout all of this pantomime that has been the Harry and Meghan show. Now, it's interesting, of course, the King has been too busy to see him. So... Um... That's despite the fact that uh, his state visit to France has been called off because of the astonishing riots uh, over there against increasing the, uh, the pension age by a couple of years. But it sounds to me like a very definite signal that, uh, uh, that Charles is not uh, trusting his son, younger son, to come back in the fold. Not yet. It's exactly. I mean, it's, it's tragic when you think this is obviously a family which have been, you know, torn apart over this very public and acrimonious split. Um, but you can't help but think that Harry is really the author of this of this complete breakdown in the relationship. I mean, it seems like, and you see this from a lot of the royal reporting, that one of the fundamental concerns that a lot of the royals now have is even meeting with them insofar as what details of what they speak to each other might get out to the press. And that's not exactly a paranoid concern given the fact that in spare in the netflix documentary and so on you have very intimate moments in their lives effectively re recounted verbatim so it's a it's a very sad state of affairs just on a human level as much as anything else but you can't really blame individuals of the royal family for being wary of harry and Meghan, given how much they've divulged over the course of the past year or so and certainly where even more so when he's the king you cannot have mm. the royal institution undermined by inviting harry and his uh, babbling wife to uh, come and observe and then trash everything they see